And hello, everyone. Welcome to day three of our virtual college tour week. We're so excited that you've joined us. Um, this programming is brought to you by our strong partnership with Buffalo Public Schools, Say Yes Buffalo, and you, our community of students and parents. So I'd love to start our first virtual tour of the day, Madai College. And uh, without further ado, let me introduce to you um, those of us who are joining us. Um, I'd like to let everyone know within the chat box, um, we have actual Madai College students participating and helping give their input and information. So if you have any questions, especially something that you'd like to get a student perspective on, please feel free to um, ask that question in the chat box. Book and uh, they will answer for you. So we have Emmanuel Wright. He's a criminal justice major. He's also a Say Yes work study. Um, and then we also have Trevor Young. He's a sports and communication major. He's also a Say Yes work study. He's a basketball player and an honor student. We have Rebecca Leon and she's a vet tech major. She's also a soccer player and she's an admissions ambassador. So please feel free, reach out to them, ask any questions in the chat box. But to start the show off today, we're going to have um, Brooke Urban here, and she's one of the directors of admissions of undergraduate studies. Take it away, Brooke. Hi, everyone. Welcome. Very excited to be here today. I'm going to give everyone a quick introduction to who else we have. So I'm Brooke. I'm the director of undergraduate admissions. We also have Dr. B. He is our assistant director of undergraduate admissions. And we have two SAS advocates with us. We have Rachel Spink and Brianne Santana. And to get us kicked off, our admissions team made a fun video, just letting everyone know that while everything's going on in the world, we're still hard working here to get you ready and enrolled for school. So we had a little fun and brought you to our house. So we're gonna show you a quick little video. Brooke, you can click on the page now. This one should be our Facebook video. Oh, okay. And this is going to come right from our undergraduate Facebook page. So at any time you can visit us and see all the things that our undergraduate team is doing right on Facebook. Pour yourself something cold, baby, cheers to the girls. Pour yourself something cold, baby, cheers to the girls. Sometimes you gotta stay in, and you know where I live. Yeah, you know what we in. Sometimes you gotta stay in, 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 in. <laughs> That's just a little bit of fun that we had as we all started working from home. So without further ado, I'm going to turn it over to Dr. B, our assistant director, and he's going to talk a little bit more about what Madai has to offer. Good afternoon, everyone. This is Dr. Kush K. Bardwaj, aka the immortal Dr. B, uh, assistant director of undergraduate admissions. Just want to talk to you about Madai College overall. And uh, Madai, at a glance, was founded in 1875 and became Madai College itself in 1968. We are home to 1,600 undergraduate students. We have 18 Division III teams, more than any other college in Buffalo. And we're actually going to have field hockey starting as a club. That's going to become a D3 uh, program within a year. We are proudly part of the Allegheny Mountain Collegiate Conference, the AMCC. And we've uh, always been in the top of the GPAs across the conference, very, very proud of that. But <clears throat> big shout out to all the Buffalo Public Schools and all the Buffalo Charter School students. 
I am personally responsible for you coming to Madai. Uh, and I realize that not every student that may be watching might not be Say Yes eligible. You need to know right now that 100% of Madai students receive academic scholarship. Each scholarship is customized. So I'll touch back on that in my closing remarks, but I got 10, how many? 10, 10 reasons, 10 things you need to know about Madai as you uh, make your decisions. Some of you had made your decisions. Some of you have had thoughts about going out of state, out of the area and wanna stay local. I view Madai to be Buffalo's best kept secret, but the fact is the secret is out. Number one at Madai, you are more than a number. You will be on a first name basis with faculty and staff. Um, some, some of us know people, it doesn't have to be you. You can know someone who gets extra time on tests, separate testing locations, tests read to them. Those are called accessibility services. We have a wonderful director of accessibility services at Madai named Ms. Genevieve Cruley. Ms. Cruley is waiting and ready for you. We have Mr. Nelson Rivera in charge of the first year experience for all the students who are not say yes eligible. So please understand at Madai, you are more than a number and there's several Dr. B-isms I teach. One of them is college is not a sprint, it's a marathon. No one cares in this world if you ran a race, they only care if you finished. And we are committed to having you finish and graduate uh, graduate at Madai. And there's going to be people with you say yes, We're, we'll talk about that later, and not say yes as well. So the fact is, you will be treated like a person, not a number. That's number one. Number two, uh, Madai College opens doors. Every program, every major requires two internships. And I always tell students internships are like job auditions. At the end of your internship, if they don't say, hey, Mr. Smith, I'm shaking my own hand here. A great job, we got a job waiting for you when you're done. Uh, if they don't say that or say, hey, we're not hiring right now, but we're gonna give you a killer letter of what? Recommendation. That's what an internship's about. And Madai has a very, very loyal uh, alumni base and we can get you networked in, whether it's sports management, psychology, accounting, you name it, all the majors we have, you are really, really going to get a real world connection uh, and an education that applies to the real world. Number three, there is a true, <laughs> true, 16 to 1 student to faculty ratio at Madai. That guarantees you a personal experience. At Madai, your professor is going to be like, hey, Smith, how you been? Hey, Smith, where you been? Your presence and your absence is clearly noted at Madai. And that's a, that's a really wonderful experience. And having graduated from with my bachelor's, master's, and PhD from a, a larger institution, it's refreshing to see a place that treats students like people and not numbers. Okay, number four, uh, we are partners in success, meaning Madai College has partnerships with medical schools, dental schools, obviously vet tech. We're in the top five vet tech programs in the country and law schools. We have what's called four plus one programs where you knock out your bachelor's degree in four years. And while you're in your senior year, you're gonna be taking hot stuff that's gonna go towards your master's. And instead of taking two more years for your master's, you'll finish your master's in one more year. For those of you who are interested in business, there is nothing more powerful than a young man or a young lady with an MBA. We call those the Mavs path. Uh, we have an intimate relationship with our graduate schools and we wanna see you not just go to uh, Madai for undergrad, but help you go to grad school as well, okay? Uh, most importantly, uh, some of y'all saw my bling. I am a three-time graduate of UB. Madai has entered a, per a partnership with UB, it's called a three plus three program. Check it out. Your first three years of undergrad at Madai is your bachelor's. Your fourth year of undergrad at Madai counts twice as your first year of what? UB Law School. And in two more years, bam, you finished your law degree. You can finish your law degree in six years instead of seven. And everybody, I hope you realize, not just during today's crisis, but every day in your communities, we need great lawyers in our community. And UB Law School is the place to go if you wanna study and graduate from a law school. So that was number four. Number five, we have over two dozen clubs and activities. Um, I am the proud uh, advisor of the Queens of Excellence Student Club. There's LGBTQ club, there's uh, vet tech, there's a paranormal society. There's business clubs, there's so many clubs. And if you don't see a club existing at Madai, 
you can create your own. All you need is seven people and a dream. And we have an amazing coordinator of student activities. Uh, love to have you connected to him as well. We have a Commons Cafe. When you take a tour of Madai, you'll get to see what those three things, those three windows, what they really are. Our fitness center, our fireside lounge. Uh, the student experience at Madai is unparalleled. And uh, being in the college game for over three decades, I've been inspired to see how loyal and how loving Madai alumni are. And uh, it's just inspiring and refreshing. That's number five. Number six is, oh yeah, six. Number six is our dedicated admissions team. We have a intimate, unique relationship with arguably the greatest support team in Buffalo, the Say Yes team. You're gonna be talking to Ms. Fink and Ms. Santana shortly. Um, the fact is, whether you are Say Yes eligible or not, whether you're in the Buffalo area or not, Big shout out to anyone outside of the state of New York. We've got students from Ohio, Cleveland. Man, we'll take them from Alaska and Florida. You've got a spot with us at Madai. But our dedicated admissions team is gonna make sure you get the scholarship that you earned, that, that you, it's based on merit. We have an amazing honors program. I will be glad to connect you to Dr. Bernadette Clabeau, our directors of honors. She is magnificent. And again, whether it's say yes, with the support team you're gonna to meet today, or it's the first year experience with Mr. Nelson Rivera, or it's accessibility services. Our admissions team is dedicated to you as you saw by our video, hope you dug it. Uh, and we're gonna connect you to whoever you need to make the best decision for you. Uh, number seven is our athletic programs. Again, we are D3 school, check out everything we offer from volleyball. Our bowling coach is five, three or five time coach of the year, lacrosse, basketball, of course. We would love to have you have the best college experience with athletics. But as I've taught many years, no books, no ball. You must handle your business in the classroom if you're going to participate in NCAA college athletics. Uh, we also have a new field. We'll talk more about that later when you hit me up. Number eight, we are in the center of Buffalo. Minutes from Canal Side, downtown Buffalo, Canada, and yeah, I'll say it. We are close to our neighboring colleges. Madai students get down with Kenesha students down on Humboldt Parkway, Buff State, right next to McKinley. Big shout out to Dr. Abraham and the whole McKinley crew. Bottom line is you'll be part of a vibrant Buffalo community when you choose Madai. Number nine, all right, uh, our majors. Whether it's accounting, I can go down the whole list of it. Brooke is going to talk about in greater detail the actual majors, but just to rip them off quickly, accounting, applied mathematics, and if you're good at math, you can be an actuary, hit me up to talk about what that means, biology for our students who want to go to medical school, business communication, criminal justice, big shout out to Dr. McCoy, the chair of the program, and uh, Professor, oh my gosh, I'm having a diaper brain moment, the professor that teaches race and criminal justice, former chief of police, Brian Patterson, there it comes to me. Uh, education with two specific concentrations, English, our brand new eSports management. You've got to see our eSports lab. It will blow your mind. International studies, which is arguably uh, the most versatile program we have. Liberal studies, psychology, of course, and we just got a four plus one approval with psychology. So you can get your master's in one year after. That's exciting. Sports communication, sports management, and of course, vet tech. Our vet tech program, again, is the best in Buffalo, arguably. Uh, we are in the top five in the nation. So that's number nine. So what's number 10? Hopefully we'll have time for that. Number 10 is we have the most gorgeous do uh, dorms, arguably, in all of Buffalo. You literally don't share a bathroom with the entire floor. I went to Howard University, the, the Black Harvard, if you will, uh, fresh out of high school. The bigger schools, you have to have flip-flops and you have to share the bathroom with everyone on the floor. Eh, eh, eh. Not at Madai. At Madai, and that's part of our personalized approach, you're going to have one bathroom with you and your roommate. In our current climate, students and families and parents, big shout out to the parents watching, being able to control your own sanitary environment is huge. So with that said, I hope I didn't go too long. For those of you who have not committed to a college yet, I want to say to you clearly, we have a spot for you at Madai. We are in, we are knee deep in the process right now of doing registration. We're on our second registration date coming at the end of May. 
We are getting signed up for orientation. Um, I'm obviously going to let my uh, sisters from Say Yes speak more to the opportunity to get enrichment in our Say Yes summer program. But the bottom line is we want you to hit the ground running. And we have a spot for you at Madai, and we have a scholarship with your name on it at Madai. If you want to know more, we're going to have a contact page. But just to be quick, if you text the letters M-A-V-S, that's Mavericks. If you text M-A-V-S, Mavs to 467467, I'll say it again, text MAVS to 467467, you will be able to get a glimpse into the scholarship that you will be eligible for. And then we can talk to you more about the uh, say yes uh, eligibility that you have to confirm. And I'll let the ladies who say yes speak directly to that. But the fact is everyone at Madai has a scholarship. We have the most loyal, unique alumni base I've seen, and I've been in college, uh, higher education for three decades. So again, my name is Dr. B. My cell number is 220-4634. It's going to be posted later. So hit me up, hit me back. I will now pause for the cause, and I see we got some questions. So Ms. Rivera, do I throw it back to you? Hey guys, we do have some questions going here, um, and I can totally vouch for Mr. B's comments on the dorms and how beautiful they are. I personally attended Madai many, we won't say what years ago, we won't say that. But what we, I will say is I was actually there when the dorms were built and it was a big deal. It was gorgeous. It was very nice to have. So Mr. B is telling you all that they have to offer. Um, one of the questions we have here is how easy is it to change your major at Madai? Absolutely, very, very easy. But as I say, college is not a sprint, it's a marathon. I also teach that college is a business. Business is not a bad word. Business, it's a business relationship. Why do I say college is a business? Number one, there's not a college in the world that's free. Number two, there's not a college on the planet that's gonna give you your money back if you don't graduate. So directly answering that question, you don't want to go three years into your college uh, career and then say, oh, you know what? I hate science. I want to be a psych major now. In your first year, many, many, many students take the same gen eds. What? A science, a math, an elective, a history. You know, uh, you have to have 12 credit hours to be full time. We recommend 15 because 15 plus 15 is 30. And every, uh, pretty much every bachelor's degree in Buffalo, especially at Madai, is 120 credit hours. So you want to graduate on time. Um, so direct answer to that. It's very easy. You have an intimate relationship with your academic advisor, and you need to talk to them about how things are going, how you like your classes. The key to being successful, big shout out to the person who po posed that question. You got to love your major, man. If you don't love your major, you're not going to be successful. You can't be in the major because your parents put pressure on you. If you don't like chemistry, chemistry can't be your major. If you don't like biology and the sciences, that's not the right major for you. And there's no shame or no crime in going from a science to a social science, psychology, how people think, sociology, how people interact. Mm -hmm. So uh, you can do that within your first semester, your first year. Um, you don't want to remix your schedule too many times because there's only 15 weeks, 16 with your exams, exams, I'm sorry, to make your grade an A. And as I say, college is a business. If you went to a restaurant, you would pay 100% of the bill, wouldn't you? Well, why do students accept less than an A? Because you're paying for your tuition. Scholarship aside, it's a business. Get your money's worth. Next um. question. Another question we have here is, what is the graduation rate at Madai? Brooke, can I throw that over to you? I honestly don't know off the top of my head since we deal in enrollment, not, uh, um, I can definitely get that and we can post it 100%. I am not sure. I know when you fill out your FAFSA, which everyone has to do, it does show you when you put your school code, any school code you put on your FAFSA, it will tell you the graduation rate of that school. So if you haven't completed your FAFSA yet, which you gotta get on the ball and get that done, you'll be able to see it right in there. But I apologize, I don't have that off the top of my head. <laughs> okay, well, while she said that, I just jumped on the website that every student can go at madai.edu and we don't post graduation rate, we post job placement rate and that's 95%. We post student to teacher ratio. And that's a true, 
true 13 to 1, which depending on how this fall can go with social distancing, it's very important to consider a college where you could actually be in the classroom, should that be allowed, and still maintain your social distance. But also, Madai College by the numbers, it's right on our home site, 40 in-demand programs. But I think that's an excellent transition. I'll obviously, we'll take more questions. But graduation rate is based not, it's, 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 it's so self-determined, okay? If you use the resources available to you as a Say Yes student, for example, and talk to Michelle Sawyers and Brianne and Santana and uh, Rachel Spink, it's, it's whether or not you use the resources. And one of the dirtiest words in America is H-E-L-P, help. That's not a dirty word. And in college, you're paying for it, so use it. Get so many of the students watching today, and parents, I'm calling you out too with love, using the resources available to you. Our uh, Say Yes team, their relationship with you is not based on how did it go, it's based on how's it going. So using those resources, if you take the initiative at Madai College, you can guarantee yourself 100% graduation. But if you, if you party too much and go up and down Humboldt Parkway, and if you sleep in and miss classes, and if you settle for C's rather than push for A's, the graduation rate's about you, not just the institution, but I will stand 100% behind every form of support we give. So on that note, I'm gonna throw it over to our Say Yes advocates. Uh, smaller classes is a fact. I've seen some of the largest institutions, I just saw a question pop up, so I have to address it. I've seen some of the largest institutions, not just in New York State, but in the nation, claim that they have a 13, 16, 15 to one student ratio. There's truth in experience. Come experience what Madai has to offer. So to really understand the Madai experience, let me throw it over to Ms. Brianne Santana, our uh, Say Yes advocate, and uh, we're gonna show you what support looks like, smells like, tastes like, and feels like. Oh, I'm sorry, Rachel Spink, <laughs> sorry. I got time for I have a nine month. Hello, everyone. <laughs> it's all good. Hello, everyone. As Dr. B uh, said, we are with the Say Yes program here at Madai. I'm actually Rachel. Brianne's going to go after me, but I'm one of the student advocates here. So we are both here, along with our other co worker, Michelle. We're here for you. Whether it's on campus or online, we serve all Say Yes students. We also are advocates in your learning. We're here to build bridges and help you uh, get to know your faculty and build relationships with them. So then you can also become part of our big family, okay? We're also here to help connect you with any resource that you need, any office on campus. Like Dr. B said, accessibility services, they're right next door to us. So we can walk you right over there. Financial aid, student accounts, they're not very far either, okay? So we are here for you and your family. Whatever you guys need, the Say Yes team at Madai is here to help. We're going to partner with you to make sure you're successful here and to make sure your experience is an awesome one. Okay. So if you have any questions, feel free to ask. We, um, like was already said, we have students in the chat box, so they might be able to answer questions as well. Okay. Brianne, are you ready? Hi, everyone. My name is Brianne. I'm a Sayas Madai uh, student advocate. I tell every student when we meet them for the first time that you are about to go on an amazing four year journey and we are going to go on that journey with you. Uh, we are your support system and it's important for you to know who we are, but it's even more important for us to know who you are. We want to know the whole you and what makes you, you. Um, we value our, relationship, our relationships with students and we value our relationships with their parents and their families as well, which is why throughout the year, we host a variety of events in our office. We want to make sure that it is a safe and welcoming place for you. We also have, um, we are very active on our social media pages. We have a Facebook and Instagram and a Snapchat. Um, actually right now, one of our work study students, Trevor Young, he is uh, live in the chat room from our Facebook page. So go at us now. And as Ichedi said, if you have any questions about a student's perspective, you can ask him or any of the other students that are in the chat room. 
Um, so with everything going on with COVID-19, um, we are supporting students through our social media pages, doing video chats, Facebook messaging, Instagram messaging. And so if you have any questions or you need us, we are here. Um, we recently just did a uh, photo challenge for the remainder of the semester it was 32 days. And so every day students in the Say Yes team posted a photo. Um, and so that was very fun. You can go back and look at all the old photos. Um, May is Mental Health Awareness Month. And so we will be posting uh, tips and information about how to take care of our minds because it is extremely important, especially right now. Um, so with all of that being said, we are going to show you a video now uh, to get to know the department a little bit more and you get to see what it's like being a CS student at Madai. All right, here we go. This is our Welcome to Madai virtual edition. On here as I scroll down to our Say Yes video, um, you can visit this site at any time. It's virtual.madai.edu backslash video. On here are videos from all the different departments that we have on campus. You're gonna see easy ways to get to financial aid, to the bookstore, to student accounts, um, everything on here from public safety to student testimonials videos from all of our instructors at in the different programs and as well all of our support services so we're going to come down here and let you see our say yes video Mavericks. Hi, my name is Michelle Sawyer, the Director of CS Education here on the Madai Buffalo campus. Me and my team are so very excited and happy that you have chosen us for your higher education journey. We would like to take a moment to introduce ourselves, tell you a little bit about our program and what it is that we have to offer. The support starts now. Rachel, please say hello to our Say Yes scholars. My name is Rachel, and I'm a Say Yes student at this kid. We're here to help you with whatever you need. Whether it's completing your FAFSA or you get an email you don't quite understand, bring it to us, and we'll walk you through it. In addition, we do tons of fun stuff throughout the year. Last fall, we did a social media scavenger hunt and gave away an awesome basket. It had AirPods, gift cards, and lots of candy, because we got the best candy. Over the spring, we had our students plan a social kickback. They played video games, listen to music, and had awesome food. Good vibes. Brand, introduce yourself. Hi, my name is Brianne Santana, and I'm a Say Yes Student Advocate. Though we are not able to currently be in our office, we have a hashtag freaking amazing space. Once we get back to campus, it's a place where you can study, hang out, or have lunch. You are welcome to come whenever you would like. In the meantime, we ask that you follow all of our social media pages. The COVID-19 pandemic does not stop us from the good vibes that we create, and you can see that once you follow us. Holly, over to you. Hi, my name is Holly, and I'm the program coordinator with Say Yes Madai. After this video, you will see our social media handles, our email addresses, and phone numbers. Please keep our contact information and do not hesitate to reach out. We're excited that you have chosen Madai and hope that you have a fun but safe summer. Awesome, I think we had some other questions that we could answer. 
We definitely do have some other questions. Um, so I'm gonna start it off with, we had a question previously also that talked about how does Ms. Dye support students who have children? So definitely it's something you can speak with your advisor. Um, you know, if there's childcare, if there's things that you need, we're happy to work your schedule around it. So we're very supportive in any avenue that you need. It's just something be as transparent as possible and we'll do anything that we can to help. Also, um, Dr. B mentioned it and so did uh, Michelle within our chat box about ex uh, accessibility services. Um, can we talk about also the partnership that that department and Say Yes has together? Sure, Rachel or Brianne, do you want to speak to that? Or B? <laughs> I, can, I can speak to that. So we have a really awesome relationship with Genevieve. Like I said, her office is right next door to ours, and we're constantly in communication. Um, if a student has or had an IEP in high school, um, you can bring it into us or bring it right into them, and we can help connect you. and. Um, Genevieve, like I said, is in constant communication with us in our department. We email, we talk, even though now we're obviously not in campus or so now it's virtual. So we talk on the phone, email, any services, any student needs, we are definitely sure to connect them with that. Some students come in and don't even know that there are accessibility services available to them. So in our first um, meetings that Brianne and I have with students, we ask them about their high school experience and um, how everything went there and if they do have any needs or if they had any support like that in high school. And through those conversations, when we discover that there is a need or a want for those, then that's when we can connect them with Genevieve. Awesome. And then we also had a question as regards to, you know, due to COVID-19, um, it, it's very possible within this transition that students fall behind. So what's a way that Madai supports students if they fall behind to really make sure that they come back, stay on track and are able to graduate on time? Spell everybody over on mute. Yeah. Okay. I'm good. Can you hear me? Okay. I can't hear anyone else. Um, but you can't hear me though. Okay. Um, when it comes down to it, getting that support, whether it's through say yes, again, for non say yes students, there's many Buffalo students who, for some reason, maybe they lived out of the Buffalo public school system for a while and not say yes eligible. The idea of getting that enrichment program is huge. Now say yes, is actually uh, still knee deep in uh, having a sem uh, summer immersion program for say yes eligible students. And that's gonna be uh, in August and that's gonna be two weeks to really, let's really flesh that out here, people. The idea that like, pretend you were a track athlete and you haven't ran in three months, you can't say that you're in tip top shape, right? So academically, that's what say yes students will have offered to them. But uh, Mr. Nelson Rivera in charge of our first year experience and pathways program for students who are not say yes eligible, and there are a considerable amount of them at Madai. Between those two, between Michelle Sawyers and Nelson Rivera and Michelle's team, which is Rianne and Rachel, I honestly, and I use the word again, arguably, I think we have arguably the finest support team in Madai. I mean, uh, at Madai. But the bigger issue there also is, and that connects to the previous question regarding Genevieve Cooley and accessibility services. It's about being proactive and not reactive. It's about getting out in front of things. And Genevieve Cooley talks to your professors and reaches out in the beginning of the semester to let them know if you need what? Extra time on tests, separate testing locations, tests read to you and things like that. Our Say Yes advocates are phenomenal at communicating to professors and acting as a, a liaison between the students and the faculty about what personal challenges students may have. And on that note, let us not forget that we have an amazing TRIO program uh, at Madai, and they have uh, specific programs for students with children too. For any young person in Buffalo or outside of Buffalo, if you are a parent, I mean a parent, not a PP, a parent, if you have kids, that is all the more reason for you to get your college degree. And the type of support you're going to get at the college that you go to, it's gonna make all the difference. So with our Say Yes, with our uh, first year experience pathways, and yes, with our TRIOS uh, program, we have 
pound for pound, arguably the finest support system in Buffalo. Also, um, another question is, um, as we know, there's usually an application fee um, when applying to college. Um, what is the application fee and any other fees that may be involved when applying to Medai? I got to take that, please. Uh, there is no application fee for Medai. And in this current COVID crisis, as long as we can get your transcript, we can get you accepted, uh, applied and accepted very, very, very fast. Again, go to the web, just text MAVS, M-A-V-S, to the number 467467, and that will start the application process for you. Specifically for all the Buffalo public school students and the charter school students, and on the behalf of the entire admissions team, North Towns, South Towns, Hamburg, Williamsville North, Williamsville South, East, uh, Sweet Home, we have intimate relations with every single uh, counselor in Buffalo. We can reach out to them, we'll get your transcript, we'll get you accepted. Um, because of the COVID crisis, there's been a, a degree more of latitude in getting students accepted who haven't taken the SAT. Some of us, uh, unfortunately, had it booked for May, April, March, I don't know, whatever, but that's changed. But that doesn't change one fact, students and families. September is coming, and you have business in college in September, and we have spots for you at Madai. And the fact that there is no application fee for undergrad at Medai, does the same apply for grad school? I will let Brooke handle that. Yes, there's no application fee if you're doing grad school, undergrad, online classes, whatever it is. Right now, there is no application fee. Excellent. That's amazing to hear. And also, what percentage of students compared to dorm and live on campus? Our uh, commuter rate is what, Brooks, 70%, is that correct? I don't know if it's that high. Um, we do have a good commuter. Um, we're definitely more of a commuter school than campus, but we have a good amount of students that live on campus. Um, we have a whole top floor that's saved for our vet tech students. Um, that way that you're all together, it's a very intensive program. So in the dorms, the vet tech students stay together on one floor. Um, we have a lot of athletes, um, but we do have a good chunk of commuters. Okay, can I tap in there? Can you hear me? Okay, mm -hmm. um, I do want to stress specifically and big shout out to Say Yes, Daniel Robertson, Tommy, and just the whole Say Yes family, Jamil Cruz. Say Yes is a tuition only scholarship. So if you are in a dorm and someone's like, oh, I'm Say Yes, and I no, you took out loans to pay for the dorms. Okay, because Say Yes, again, is a tuition only scholarship. Every year that I've been uh, involved with Say Yes, we have an amazing countdown to kickoff celebration. And the Say Yes team uh, puts a, a magnificent PowerPoint up on there. And they make it very, very clear. There's tuition, there's fees, there's books, there's the cost of attendance. So please understand at Madai College, you are looking at a $250 general fee. Every single student from honors to say yes, every student pays that and for your textbooks. There's other support programs otherwise, but I just wanna make sure that our say yes students, uh, if we have time, we'll be able to show you a video tour of arguably, there's that word again, the finest dorms in Buffalo. But just know again, college is a business and the uh, cost of room and board at Madai is 14,000. But a special shout out to our, our Director of Residence Life, Ms. Kat Dennehy. We have two specific buildings so we can accommodate being spread out should we have to uh, have social distancing rules. And again, if you want the on-campus dorm residence life experience, your safety is our primary concern at Madai College. And the fact is you'll be able to have your own bathroom and we can spread out to students big time. So if you want to pay for dorms, again, say yes is a tuition only scholarship. If you want to pay for dorms, uh, the dorm experience is phenomenal and we have amazing RAs. And another question would be, what advice would you guys give am amongst the you know, COVID-19 situation to a high school senior in their first steps if they want to apply to Madai? What what should they be doing if they kind of thought this wasn't something that was realistic right now or they fell behind? What can be done? Anybody else? Uh, Rachel, I want to say something first. Well, first, I want to say congratulations to anyone who's graduating right now because you're in a very unique spot 
and you should be celebrating no matter what. I know it doesn't look the way you want it to. I know there's lots of things that are a little different than what we're used to, but still be celebrating because what you did is amazing and no one's gonna be able to take that accomplishment away from you. So be super proud of yourself. College is still a realistic option for you. Our applications are out there. The first step you have to take is just go to the Medi website and apply. The second you apply, one of the admissions counselors is gonna reach out to you very quickly um, and we'll take the next steps from there. I did see a question about SAT scores. If you haven't taken the SATs, I know they got canceled in some places that that's okay. We do offer placement exams and all that's gonna do is help us place you in the correct courses. So fill out your app. If you have a copy of your transcripts, you can upload it right into the application and we'll get the process flowing for you. Um, also, do you guys have a mechanical engineering program? We do nope. not. <laughs> MAE is not offered at Madai. Uh, is my mic on? Yes. Okay. Uh, I wanted to speak directly to something I saw, uh, a question that was raised. That $100 deposit is not an application fee. That is what locks down your spot at Madai. That is literally what says, that's my say yes spot, for example. That's my uh, trustee scholarship if you're not say yes. That's my spot at Madai. And again, the reason I say, you know, college is a business, you, you know, students are really, really, there's a lot of time for them to research and apply to colleges now. So these, these spots, particularly at private small colleges like Madai, they're very, very valuable. Tuition at Madai is a little over 30000 a year. And if you are a full tuition scholar, a Say Yes scholar at Madai, that's a value of over $120,000 over the four years. Yeah. To a parent who just lost their job, to a household where both parents lost their job and they're worried about how am I going to pay my rent? How am I going to pay my mortgage? Being able to pay for college has become a, a huge issue of stress if not concern. So these scholarships roughly valued at $120,000 over four years, it's, it seems to be worth more now with this COVID crisis. So I wanna directly address a, a question I saw posted. That $100 is not an application fee. That $100 locks down your spot. So when Brooke says to Dr. B, Dr. B, we got some more spots to move. I say, no, 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 no. That's Rachel Johnson's spot. She deposited, that's her spot. And why do, why do colleges, period, require that? Because that spot is saved for you. And there's many, many people. A big shout out to McKinley, CSAT, Basics, Emerson, East, all the schools that we serve. There's families that really, really need that spot. And if a student says, yeah, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. And then September comes and you're like, oh, I'm gonna do nails. Well, someone else needed that spot. Or you're like, oh, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Oh, I'm gonna do landscaping with my dad. Someone else needed that spot. So please let the streets make it clear. That was not an application fee. That locked down your spot in the class of fall 2020. Oh. Hi, everyone. I just wanted to address the question about seniors moving to um, you know, college now during what's happening with COVID-19. As Brooke said, congratulations on just finishing the senior year or finishing your senior year, because no one could have imagined this. But if you choose Madai, that is why we are here. We are here to support you through that. We are active on social media. We will go through every single step with you, the FAFSA, the TAP applications, all of that. And so I just wanted to make sure and reassure you that it is a scary time right now, but that's why we here and we got you. To Rachel's point, we are a family. And so we will support you the entire way through. Again, we are on this journey with you. So, um, you know, with everything happening with COVID-19, you have any questions, even if it's some Something that you don't know if you should ask, please reach out to us and ask us because that's why we're here. We want to be able to support you. And that's um, pretty much all the time we have for, for today, guys. I just wanted to really say an extreme thank you to our Madai College students. They did a phenomenal job in the chat box. And thank you guys for stepping up and giving that student perspective. We really appreciate what you guys shared and they were so helpful um, with students and their questions in the chat box. There was a lot more questions than we even um, put out today on the live that they were handling for us and that was excellent. I wanna um, thank the whole Madai College team for coming out today and sharing all this invaluable information. We really appreciate 
appreciate it. And um, please stay tuned at three o'clock. We have our next virtual college tour um, with our lovely Joelle Stubbe hosting. And we will be having Duval College, three o'clock to four o'clock. So be sure, come back to our Facebook Live. And uh, that's it for me today, guys. I'll see you guys tomorrow and have a great day.